At just 79 US dollars, the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet is a fantastic value, but it comes with that Fire OS on it and it's pretty restrictive. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your tablet into straight Android to open up a world of possibilities. And it all starts right now. Hi, Blaine Locklear here. To supercharge your gaming hardware and software through restorations, repairs, mods, product reviews, and other video content, do that by subscribing. Let's get your Amazon Fire HD tablet fixed up right. To get started with this conversion process, make sure your Fire HD tablet is turned on and unlocked. From here, select the settings icon. Once you're in the settings menu, scroll down to the bottom until you get to device options. Tap on device options and inside this menu, scroll down until you get to about Fire tablet and select it. You'll get several pieces of information here. The one you're interested in is the serial number. Tap on it several times. I've already done this, but when you tap on this several times, you'll get a message pops up that tells you that the developer options menu is now available. Now scroll down until you get to developer options and select it. Even though this menu is available, it's off by default, as you can see on the top of the screen. From here, tap on that off so you can change it to on. Once it gives you this option, select OK to turn on developer mode. Now scroll down in the menu until you get to USB debugging and tap on it to select it. It's going to ask you to confirm that you want to turn it on. Select OK to continue. Now press the home button to go back to the main menu of your device. It's this USB connectivity that's going to make it possible to sort out the difference between Fire OS and Android. Plug in your device by USB to your PC computer. You'll see a pop-up message come up on the screen of your device saying that your device is connected to a low power USB port. That's just fine, not a problem. What you want to look for is to make sure your device is actually connected for data transfer between the device and the PC. To verify this, swipe down from the top. In this menu, you should see somewhere just beneath the center of the menu that USB debugging is connected. If you get this, then your device is correctly connected to your PC and you're ready to proceed to the next step. If you don't see this, go back and make sure that you turned on all of the settings as required in the previous steps. To make this process as simple as possible, you want to get the Fire Toolbox. It's a fantastic piece of software that's worked on by an incredible developer. I've donated to the project and I hope you'll consider doing the same while you're here. Scroll all the way down on the page until you get to the download section. The most recent version of the software at the time of this recording, version 10, will be available for download right here. You want to get the Windows installer as an executable file from the website and download it to your computer. This website is linked for you in the description below. In your downloads folder, you want to run the installer for this software. Double click on this exe file to begin the installation process. You'll probably see this message. Click on the more info link and then click on the run button. You'll be prompted to select whether you want to install this for all users on the computer or just you. This is entirely up to you. Choose whichever one you like. Now you'll be given the option to either install a desktop icon as a shortcut or not. I'm going to do it in this case because this video is focused exclusively on this product. Then select install. Once the program is finished installing, select finish in the bottom right corner. This will launch it for the first time. You'll be given the option to take a guided tour of the software. You can either select to do this or just exit out of it. In this case, I'm just going to exit out and show you some core components you need to get the task done. At the main menu for Fire Toolbox, there's actually more than one page and you can get to those by the small arrow in the bottom right corner. And then you can also back up through the navigation using the opposite arrow to go backwards through the menu system. Let's go back to the front page, the home menu. Let's start converting your Fire tablet over to the Android interface. Click on Manage Everything Amazon. You'll have the option to either disable or enable everything that's Amazon related on the tablet. Go to Disable and then choose the Automatic Radial button here. This will go ahead and remove all of the things that are Amazon related from the apps on the home menu of your tablet. Don't worry, you can always put them back. This is reversible if you decide that this isn't the thing for you. 
what this pop-up message is telling you is that you can actually have these put back in through an over-the-air update if you don't turn those options off. And we're going to take a look at that in just a moment. Click the OK button in the bottom right corner to continue. Once you start removing the Amazon interface stuff from the tablet, you're going to need to start replacing it. Go to the keyboard section here and select it. You want to install a new keyboard so that you can use your device once you get everything set up and going. From the drop down here, pick any keyboard that you want. For this example, I picked the Microsoft Swift Key keyboard. It works really well once you get your tablet modified. You'll be asked to confirm the install. Select yes to continue to install your new custom keyboard. After a brief install process over the USB cable, your new custom keyboard will be ready to set up and use on your tablet. Let's go back to the tablet for a moment so you can take a look at what needs to be done to move forward. When the keyboard setup screen comes up, you'll be asked about getting better predictions for predictive text. You don't have to do this right now, so just tap on it and then select not now and you'll proceed forward through the process. Let's get those Android apps installed. Go up to where it says Google Services and click on it with the mouse. You'll get a list of all the things that are going to be installed on your tablet. In summary, it's basically just the standard pack of Google apps you get when you have Android. Select Execute All at the bottom. This is going to go ahead and install the Google app setup over to your Amazon Fire HD tablet. Once it's done, you'll get this pop-up message that says to wait 10 minutes before attempting to use the Google Play Store so that it has adequate time to set up and get connected. Select OK in the bottom right corner to continue and make sure you give Google Play the opportunity to set up properly. Unless you want to have an Android tablet with Google Apps trying to connect to that Odessa Assistant from Amazon, then click on Google Assistant here. What it's telling you is it's going to replace Odessa with the Google Assistant, and that's what you want. Scroll down to Execute Tool and select it to swap out these two ladies. Once it's done, you'll be back at the main menu. Let's make sure you don't get any over-the-air updates that spoil all of the fun of having converted this tablet over to Android. Select the next page with the arrow button in the bottom right corner. Come up to Modify System Settings and select it. This is what that pop-up message was talking about earlier. So you want to make sure that automatic updates is turned off and that OTA over the air updates is also turned off here. These are just toggles. So scroll over to the right where it says toggle and just click on the word toggle. You'll get this admonition that over the air updates may still happen without the user's consent. Click on OK to continue. You know, you don't get to use cool words like admonition very often. You gotta take advantage when you get the chance. Click the back arrow in the top right corner of the menu box to go back to the main menu. Let's get rid of those annoying ads that are on your lock screen on your device. Go up to the top right corner and select remove lock screen ads to continue. On this screen, come down to the bottom and select execute tool to remove the ads from your lock screen. Now I should say, if you really want to see ads on your lock screen, don't do this part. But I'm suspecting you probably don't or you wouldn't be here. Come down to the bottom and select yes to continue. You get a pop-up that if you update or do over the air updates that you're gonna get ads back again. Select okay to continue. All right, let's seal up the deal here and get rid of the last vestiges of Fire OS off of your tablet. Go over to custom launcher and select it. From here, you can select the custom launcher that you want to use from the drop-down menu. In this case, I'm using Nova Launcher, but you can experiment with these and see which one suits you best. You'll get a confirmation message to confirm you want to install the custom launcher. Select Yes to continue. Once the installation process is finished, you'll be back at the main menu for Fire Toolbox. At this point, transition over to your tablet. As you've made some significant changes to your tablet, you're liable to see some notifications about these. The low power charging one's a pretty easy one to resolve. Just unplug it from your computer and plug it back into wall power. Double tap on notifications to get them cleared up. The Google Play protection notification is just that, a notification. To clear it up, all you have to do is press the home button to go back to the main menu. 
You can get those notifications to pop back up so you can clear them just by pressing the power button to go to sleep mode and then pressing it again to wake back up. Next up, let's get this keyboard message cleared up. Double tap on the notification and you'll be taken back to the keyboard setup screen. All you have to do is just like it did before, select not now from the menu options. Then you can press the home button and go right back to the main menu once again. Press the power button to go back into sleep mode and then press it again to wake it up and you'll get that last notification to clear up. It's just an old notification that says the system software was updated out of the box. No worries, you can just swipe up to clear that one up. From here, the best way to clear everything and get it rebooted properly running full Android is just to power the device completely off. Press and hold the power button until the tablet shuts completely off, then press it again to turn it back on. Oh, it'll still have the Amazon logo and the Fire logo when you first boot it up. But immediately after the startup, you'll be greeted with this. Android. It's good old-fashioned Android. No Fire OS interface to get in the way any longer. Now you can go to the Google Play Store and other Google applications and start loading up your favorite apps onto your tablet. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on great original video game content as it's posted. And check out this video here, shown on screen and linked in the pinned comments and description below. Thanks so much for being here. I always appreciate our time together. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.